I find it funny, man, how they are reacting to news that for a lot of people, a lot of different institutions, it will crush them. Binance is saying just another day in crypto. These are not breaking news, but it happened yesterday. It's really recent. Belgium orders Binance stop all services that you're offering right here. But you thought your European license will cover Belgium. Not really, sir. So get out. The FSMA is ordering you that. And Binance CZ comes on Twitter and says, one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. And then minutes later, Binance with a meme picture four and everybody looking at it and i was super busy yesterday i couldn't see this article right but it's just insane i mean you think about it how many other exchanges have received the amount of fud and attacks just a few of them maybe coinbase but number one is going to be binance right they're out of canada they're out of netherlands there's some other countries that are saying you have to stop now in this case, Belgium is the latest one. I'm pretty sure everybody, and I want to tell you the full story right to what's going on, but I'm pretty sure that CC understands that this is normal, right? Um, you're seeing things, how they're getting a little bit better in the United States when it comes to the institutions coming to Bitcoin. It's just a matter of time. So countries, institutions, and the governments at the end of the day realize that if they are not accepting well, of course, they're going to be missed and be fall behind. But in this case, it seems that it's just that they are not getting up to date with the newest laws and regulations for Belgium. And because the FSMA is saying, nope, you're not allowed to do it. Get out because we don't want any money laundering or traffic in terrorism. I'm like, what? Let me tell you the full story. Don't go anywhere. Go ahead and smash the like button, everybody, and consider subscribing. Welcome. You know, it's kind of funny, like I said, to see this because yesterday, right, the price did go a little bit lower. Um, this is yesterday, Friday the 23rd. This is today, Saturday. And you can see roughly maybe a 5 to 6% drop. People, every, it's, you know, on, on Twitter, you, you can see everyone's responses. And the way Binance reacts at this point, it's like they already have created a shield, super tough skin against all of these articles because it's official, right? It's coming from this financial services market authority and where they order Binance to stop all virtual currency services in Belgium, right? And I'm going to go ahead and cover some topics that I really like, but in, you know, watch guru, everyone, you know, saying no go ahead and get out but this is the main response from them and here it is binance the main exchange like to tell you the truth fam any crypto.com fam here watching do you really think you will see this on the crypto.com twitter page be honest i don't think so like binance is really i mean chris is now tweeting a little bit more you know but not even compared to what cc does it's just what it is. And I didn't get the joke, to be honest with you, when I saw it yesterday. Now today, I'm like, oh, it makes sense because of the FUD with Belgium, right? But thus far, it doesn't seem concerned, right? It doesn't seem that it's affecting the best. It doesn't seem that it's going to be super bad for them. Uh, there's a couple of things right now. Furthermore, the FSMA say that 19 out of the 27 operators on Binance.com website that serve Belgium clients appear to be based outside the European economic area. Also, it alleged that Binance has not provided clarity on the functioning of these operators with the rules and the regulations given by Belgium. So in a way, Belgium is saying, hey, you're not meeting a 100% standard for what we need. Therefore, get out, right? That's, it seems, what it's happening and they're saying FUD and we'll get to, I mean, they're going to get to it. When? Who knows? But they will update everyone once it's official. You are taking a lot of countries that are not welcoming Binance, right? And also there's a current lawsuit, right? But Binance.us is winning that one against the SEC and Binance and CC. I don't see them really concerned with what this SEC is going to do to them. I think it's it's fair to say that they're really ahead of the game and I'm happy that they're they're gonna be winning at the end of the day. That's my forecast, right? If BlackRock, if Fidelity, if Charles Swaff, if um who else? I mean so Charles Swaff, Fidelity and more 
are making some centralized exchanges, obviously this is a long-term product and Binance wants to be the number one. So to me, it's just, it's not really a fake article because it's official, but it's the way that we in the crypto community, we are kind of looking at it, right? Now, this institution has noted that they're offering and providing exchanges, right? That and legal currencies, as well as custody wallet services from countries that are not members of the European economic area. So they have ordered them to cease immediately. So not tomorrow, now, right? Of providing any services such in Belgium. Great. Binance does not dispute that it offers services in Belgium. So these are the statements we don't hear from CC or Binance on Twitter, which I love to hear, right? Uh, sometimes it happens. There are some closed door interviews and that's when, you know, you get this post. That's the only way we get them. On the basis of the general terms and conditions that apply to Belgian clients, a Belgium clients, Binance.com platform that services appear to be provided by Binance operators. So this is something I'm seeing a lot. Let me explain. I'm going to go to the price right here. So Binance.com global, right? It has its presence, but it also we are seeing in other different countries like Netherlands, right? And, and where they're leaving that it has operators, right? Bank partnerships, financial institutions that are commingle with Binance. And when they get in trouble, well, obviously the whole brand goes under with Binance too, but you know, every time there's FUD, CZ has been able to respond to that and everything is it's kind of moving along pretty well from what we're seeing. But still, we have to um, make sure that you know that the price is no longer at 300 where it was before this whole lawsuit started. As of right now, Binance is $236. And it does remind me a little bit when we first had our crypto.com mistake of sending money to the wrong wallet address remember in november 2022 and that created a bunch of food and from like 11 12 cents the price dropped to six five cents and that was like what's going on i remember the video we were doing a live so for binance this 70 dollar difference which is now what like 22 23 percent that's money that's not coming into your market capitalization, right? And now you're lower. It's just because of since the beginning of June all the way to right now, June 24th, there's been a lot of attacks against Binance. And the best way CC has been able to reply to all of them has been with this, with this. So at this point, they have just created this super tough, you know, skin and nothing really comes to them unless it's a big deal that I think so far we haven't seen before. So these are the news. This is what's going on. I'm obviously looking at which countries accept Belgium. And well, you don't have to look further than crypto.com. Visa cards are available in these European countries. And the second one is Belgium. I'm not making this up. It's right there. So there's also some news about Coinbase, you know, winning um, lawsuits against some customers are arbitration lawsuit. This is nothing to do with the SEC. And some people think it is, but it, it's not. So yes, this happened yesterday as well, which is pretty nice. And from Gemini, they're saying the only thing that US regulators seem to agree is that Bitcoin is a commodity, but they don't want to discuss anymore. When that happens, that's when we're going to be opening everything, all the books. And well, it's going to come much more clarity for us in our space. And that's when Binance, Crypto.com, Gemini, Coinbase, and more can be a little bit more relaxed since BlackRock and all of these exchanges from other different institutions that the SEC is more aware of will come. The mess, but like I said, it's the way they are handling some stuff that they're like, you know what, we don't care. And we do care, but on, on, on social media, we know that the Binance community is that strong that with four, you can just pass by it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Go ahead and smash the like button. Consider subscribing. And well, happening this week, right? A lot of things moving. But at the end, we are 30,000 Bitcoin holding, still holding. You know, the battle is, is on. You got to get out to 31 and plus like we did just hours ago. See you next time, guys. Peace.